Just 3% of mechanical engineers in the U.S. are black. That's according to the job site Zipia. Howard University is hoping to change that. News 4's Amy Cho has more on the record-setting gift they just received and how it will help shape the future of engineering. You can tell if it's level or not. Ever since Ruth Davis was young, she's always known she loved math and physics. So I'm working with a 3D printer here. It's why she chose to study mechanical engineering at Howard University. You just have to wait for it to heat up. But over the past few years, she's noticed something about the field. I go to different internships and I find myself being like the only black person in the room a lot, a majority of the time. Uh, I would say almost every single time. Howard University is setting out to change that. The school just received a game-changing gift, a million-dollar grant to expand the mechanical engineering department. I think it's very exciting. I think it's necessary. Like Having the funding and having these things available will make people more excited to come and to learn and try to be engineers. The school says it'll use the money to build a maker space and buy fancier equipment like these 3D printers. The goal is to make sure students are ready for the workforce. We want to do our part at Howard University to produce young men and women who are able to assume these roles and really embark on great careers. The grant money came from the software company Autodesk, which also offers fellowships to students from HBCUs. It is really important that we are allowing a more diverse group of people to have access earlier on in their careers. And back in the lab, Davis says she can't wait to see all the upgrades. That would revolutionize the department. Like that would be, that would be very, that'd be very crazy. I'm excited for the younger classes. So they'll be able to really use that. At Howard University. That's, that's kind of it. Amy Cho, News 4.